Hi everybody, Dr Biology here and this is a quick run through of the AQA GCSC Biology Foundation Tier, Paper 1 and Paper 2, Advanced Material 2022 exam stuff that you really need to know for preparing for your exams. So let's have a look. So first of all, the advanced material that was sent out a few weeks back um, the structure of the exam is the same, so you'll get paper one and paper two, you'll get unfamiliar um, aspects to it, you'll get uh, the usual type of questions. But what's changed is that they're telling you where the major focus topics are. So what that means is, is basically where the most marks will be. OK, so what topics will give you the most marks? Also, they're telling you what required pract practicals will be assessed. So you only need to assess those practicals. It will also tell you a bit about minor focus topics. They're still important to revise because there will be lower, lower marks for these, these topics, but that could get you over to a new level. And also, more importantly, topics that will not be assessed. So... Um, you might have heard this thing called specification codes. So specification codes can be found basically in the um, GCSE Biology AQA specification handbook. Now this is more for teachers, uh, but they talk about spec codes and you can see it's got subject content. And then if we look at cell biology, for example, you can see all the things you need to revise. OK, it's more for teachers. But when we talk about spec codes, that's what we're talking about. That's where you can find them as well. So let's have a look at the content of GCSE Biology Foundation tier for this year. So this is um, this shows you all the kind of major things. So first of all, this is paper one. So you can see cells, organization, infection and response and bioenergetics could be on the paper. So that's the minor focus. Most important part. These are the major focus and then the required practicals you really do need to know. Again, in uh, Dr. Biology YouTube, um, I've done all the required practicals so you can find them there. Um, topics not assessed. So those are the things you are not going to uh, be required to revise. So let's go through cells. So first of all, major focus. So cell structure, microscopes, culturing mi microbes, diffusion osmosis, active transport. They're all still there. What is not so much there is the cell division. So that's the mitosis and stem cell section. But you still need to know how to use a microscope and the osmosis practical, which most of you would have done it with potatoes. But in the exam, they could ask you about carrots, turnips, swedes, any type of plant tissue. What won't be assessed is cell differentiation. Right. Organisation. So a large portion of this sec of this uh, topic will be um, looked at. So digestion, enzymes, heart and blood vessels coronary heart disease, health and risk factors. Um, then the plant stuff will be uh, asked for, but not in such a major focus. You'll need to know all your food tests, so your Benedict's test, your Burette test, the emulsification test as well. But what won't be in it is anything to do with components of blood, cancer, or the principles of organisation. So that means cells, tissues, organs, organ systems. Infection and response, pretty much everything will be in there. OK, um, as you can see, most of it is in the major focus, particularly drug development and, and antibiotics, vaccinations, all the diseases, communicable diseases, except protests. So that protests are the ones that cause malaria. So that won't be in. Bioenergetics. Now, this is a big change. OK, you can see. Well, hopefully you can see that the only aspect they're going to ask you is about photosynthesis and particularly the required practical. They are going to ask you no questions at all on anything related to respiration. OK, so none of the work that you've done on respiration will come up. It will all be to do with photosynthesis, limiting factors and the required practical. OK, so here's a useful. This is from AQA. So this is the spec codes saying that again, I've actually uh, produced a document I'm going to show you in a minute. You can get from my website that actually has a checklist so you can go through the checklist and um, the checklist does not include 
the not assessed uh, topic units. Right, paper two. Now, paper two, there is a big difference. Paper two, there is far less for you to revise in paper two. Uh, they've taken out some substantial areas. So, for example, homeostasis and response. You will need to know about nerves. So definitely reflex actions will be in there. Body temperature, blood glucose, so the hormones in human reproduction, the menstrual cycle. That's quite a large section of work there. You will need to know the reaction times experiment and the effect of light on newly germinated seeds so that's related to auxins you won't need to revise anything related to the brain the eye the kidneys and adh which is very disappointing because i've just done three videos all about the eye oh well maybe next year so variation and inheritance and evolution again this is a major section where they have taken a large kind of large portions of this unit out so you only need to know about reproduction asexual sexual reproduction briefly but not about the advantages and disadvantages meiosis in particular genetic inheritance inheritance so you still need to do crosses using punnett squares evidence for evolution fossils and extinction genetic disorders could come up as well well it will come up but in a lower lower mark question now, ecology, again, they've taken large proportions of ecology out. There is no major focus in ecology. So you just need to have be aware of things like biotic, abiotic factors, food chains, waste management, transfer of biomass. And particularly, I would uh, look at the um, experiment, the required practical experiment. You might remember using quadrats to work out the, com the, the uh, number of dandelions in your playing field or maybe looking at a transect as well so as you can see paper two far more has been taken out look at that all those things have been taken out um, of paper two right so this is uh, to be found on drbiology.uk which is my website um, this is a really detailed checklist so you can see i've put the major focus in gray so uh, you can go through them and see if you've revised i've said what will be assessed so what will be assessed is using a light microscope the vision um, is a kind of a low tariff so you don't have to do so much for it whereas transporting cells is a major topic so all of that can be found in uh, www.drbiology.uk. If you can't find it, I've done another video to, to tell you where to find it. I hope that has been useful and uh, I'll see you soon.